Hi, this is Larry the Barber Man of Barbers.tv and today I want to demonstrate how to perform a full service on an Andis Masters hair clipper. Now this particular Andis Masters hair clipper has been dropped so right now it has a really lousy performance so what I want to do is show you how it performs now and how it will perform after the full service. So with that said, let me just show you with this piece of hair how the performance is right now. So I'm just looking into the other camera to see that you can see what I see. As you see, it has zero, or well not zero, but very little cutting performance. And even when we adjust the power screw here, which normally gives it more power, you know, it's, that is actually on. As I put it onto the mic, it's not actually making or doing anything, even though I've turned up the power on the power screw, which straight away tells me that the mechanism is out of line. That's why it's not responding when I put the power screw in. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and perform the service. In order to do that, we need a flathead screwdriver so we can get inside of the Andis Masters that requires Move, removing these two screws here. So let's get down to that. I always advise to use a rubber mat <coughs> so you don't lose your screws because if you lose your screws you have to get them from the manufacturer and this in itself can lose you time and time is money. So clipper architecture. This here is the clipper arm armature. This is responsible for moving the blade here. This is the tension screw and like I said because the power screw wasn't responding I now think that the tension is out. Uh, when I say the tension what do I mean? The tension is how tightly squeezed together the bottom blade is which is the cutting blade from the cone blade. If the tension is too tight, you won't be able to move the blades. If the tension is too loose, then hair can get in between the two blades and impair the cutting. And even if there wasn't hair there, that would still impair the cutting. So the objective today is to get the tension to the right tension and get the power up so it starts to cut again. Right, so first and foremost, because it's been dropped, we need to reset the position of the mechanism. How you reset the position of the mechanism, you use a pointed pair of pliers. You put these pointed pliers into these two holes here. And what we need to do is turn it clockwise to reset, the, uh, to get it until it stops moving. So we're gonna do that now. Right. Funny enough, it stopped at 12 o'clock. So now what I need to do is turn it anti-clockwise, one rotation to reset the mechanism. So. All right, that's one rotation back to 12 o'clock. So now I know the mechanism's in the right place. We're going to adjust the tension now. So to adjust the tension, we first need to loosen this screw here, which is the tension screw. We turn the machine on. We will use this flathead screwdriver at this position here, and we want to get it underneath the fork. The fork, if you look here, uh, underneath these two torque screws, there's a black piece of metal. That's the fork. That's what holds the blade. We're going to put the screwdriver underneath here now that we've loosened the tension screw and lift it up and we want it to make a loud rattling noise. Like so. Now when you've got it to make this loud rattling noise we now need to turn the tension screw until this noise goes away and that is the sweet point for the tension. So we just keep turning it clockwise. And now it's got that nice, sweet, yet yeah, powerful humming noise. So we know we're in a good place now. 
So now what I want to do is uh, turn the machine off. I'm going to lock it back again. Or not lock it. Reassemble. Bottom one in. Now what we want to do is we want to play with the power. Now that we've got the best tension spot, now we want the best maximum power. And how we're going to do this, we're going to alter the power screw. And what, we're, what you're doing with the let's liken my arm to the armature, my body is the motor. We basically want to bring the arm closer to the motor and that gives you the maximum power. If it gets too close, it's going to make a loud noise. So what we want to do then is just turn it the other way to take it off the arm until it stops making the noise. At that point, we know we've got maximum power. So. We want it there and also we want the blades to be covering every single tooth, the cutting blade to cover every single tooth of the current blade. Right, let's go back to our piece of hair. So before it wasn't cutting at all, it was barely making a noise and the blades were barely moving. got a much better performance. I just want to try and tune this a bit more. Give him a bit more power. And also a drop of oil helps as well. Okay, let's try that now. Yeah. As you see there. Yeah. So that's cutting lovely now. Just to blow that off. So you can see the cleanness now in the lines. Right, there you go. One full service of Andis Masters by Larry the Barberman. I hope you found this demonstration helpful. If you did, I would ask that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. For now, Larry the Barberman signing off.